Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 12th, 2019. Well, my goodness, we have some excitement here this morning and last night. Uh, during the evening, we had um, a news announcement that Congress has finally come to some kind of a, an agreement, and that will avoid the pending government shutdown on Friday. Almost immediately, the futures responded bullishly last night to that news, and this morning, that continues on. As a matter of fact, it really translated all around the world. Uh, last night we had uh, Asian markets uh, sharply higher last night with Japan um, up uh, almost 2% two, two last night. Um, um, European markets are also bullish this morning. And um, consequently, we have the futures looking at a substantial gap up. Dow futures are looking at a gap up of more than 200 points this morning completely bouncing uh, past yesterday's indecisive candle, uh, kind of chopping in a sideways pattern. So really bullish this morning, everything is looking good. And what a beautiful price pattern that we have to potentially trade off of here today. So for example, we moved up nicely, pulled back, held that key support. If you guys remember, I put that key support in last week, put that, held that key support area, and now we're starting to show bullishness on off of that uh, bounce. So what a beautiful place to be able to potentially trade from. Now, as great as that is, we still have some significant stumbling blocks out there. Remember, U.S.-China trade negotiations are continuing as we speak. And as that goes on, um, any news that comes out that would suggest um, issues or problems or challenges with completing the deal by the end of the month would certainly affect the market and likely affect it substantially. So kind of keep that in mind. Although we've cleared one stumbling block, we still have another one that we face. Now, let's take a look at upside resistances. You can see we have broken the downtrend here. We have a nice uptrend going on. We will have to consider this resistance right here in the price action. And once we pop through there, if we can pop through there, then we'll be looking for this resistance level right here in the market to maybe provide uh, those bulls a little bit of a stopping uh, point uh, where the bears might be there to challenge. So watch that closely. Really good signs here this morning, though. Got to love it when the market is so bullish. Let's take a look at um, SPY. SPY also had that pullback in here, but beautifully held on to this price support area that I marked out last week. Held on um, really nice, and now this morning we're looking at that gap up this morning into this area and looking great. A beautiful place um, with the convergence right here of the downtrend break support and support of that key level that I marked last week. We're looking really good on this gap up open this morning. So um, remember, a little bit of price resistance right there. And then the major price resistance in the SPY will be that triple top right here that we'll have to keep an eye on. So as we start moving up, we'll want to watch those um, important levels uh, in, in this market, but looking really good this morning. Let's take a look at the Qs. Qs also holding that key support level that we chatted about. Let me remove these just for a second. There we go. Um, nice hold of this price support, beautiful pattern move up pull back that's exactly what we want to see and now the bulls stepping in looking for a gap up morning to kind of wipe out yesterday's price action and then we'll start looking for those resistance levels above you know right here um, that last high and then we start looking a little bit further here into the market and then a fairly substantial area right up in here so watch those resistance levels as we begin to move ourselves higher if we take a look at IWM IWM had strength yesterday um, the only market that really put in a good bullish candle and a nice uh, pattern here holding above this key support area holding on to its trend beautifully moving on up i would look for these resistance areas right up in here as next targets 
for IWM, and it's looking very bullish this morning, gapping up substantially. So really nice patterns here in IWM. Got to like that. Let's take a look at the VIX real quick. The VIX, um, yesterday, a little bit of price support held right here on this um, support level of the chart. And you can see this chart, go, this goes back quite a ways, this price support area, where there's just a lot of congestion, consolidation, and things in this area. So as you can see, holding that yesterday, my guess is the point this morning we're going to see, with the bullishness in the market, we're going to see that give up that uh, level fairly substantially and we'll be drifting back down into this open space and hopefully moving toward this area down in here where we have a major support um, in in the price action so not much fear in the market here everything is looking good we'll want to keep an eye on it but um, this is looking really good um, this morning let's take a look at t21 whoops There we go. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And yesterday we had a substantial bounce up um, on that T2122. So this morning's gap up puts us up here, likely going to push us up toward this upper level here in T2122. So that would be my only concern right uh, in the market right now that we may be stretching just a little bit too far this morning all at once. So we wanna watch for the possibility of that pop and drop. Now what is a pop and drop? Pop and drop is when the market gaps up, we close the market here, we gap up here okay and what we don't want to see is we don't want to see sellers coming in um, on that gap we want to see buyers that come in on that gap and push this market higher we don't want to see um, those sellers coming in not supporting this gap and the possibility of filling the gap to the downside much like we had yesterday we gapped up yesterday sellers came in pushed us right back down filling that gap so as we push up here we want to be watchful of that potential that we could overreach very easily in our enthusiasm for the market this morning hit a wall up here and um, run into some trouble so kind of keep that in mind um, nothing nothing here uh, to really fear just that little bit of caution um, to be careful not to chase the morning gap make sure we have buyers stepping in to support that let's take a look at our earnings, or excuse me, our economic calendar today. Not a whole lot going on um, here, except for some Fed speak, speak um, considerable Fed speak today, with Jerome Powell um, even speaking today. And um, as you can see, we had the small business optimism this morning report. We've got the JOTS report um, here at 10 o'clock, unlikely to really move the market around a bunch. Some bond announcements, and then we have three Fed speakers on the day of course this one right here 1245 will be the most important when jerome powell speaks so uh keep, keep that in mind remember tomorrow we have cpi so cpi is one of those big market moving uh, potential reports we'll have to keep an eye on let's take a look at the earnings calendar about 113 oh excuse me 120 close to 120 companies reporting earnings today and we'll want to keep an eye on those um, of course there are some big ones out there that we'll want to pay attention to today um, shop is reporting um, this morning shop is one of those companies that a lot of people follow and you can see shop is gapping down this morning um, on their news uh, tap tap reporting this morning also gapping down on that news this morning possibly um, causing a little bit of issue with um, with the market so you'll want to keep an eye on that later this afternoon we have a bunch of earnings reports as well so just make sure you're checking on those earnings paying attention to them closely and uh, making sure to um, avoid these big potential moves in your trading by keeping track of these earnings dates. So everyone, I wanna wish you all a very bullish day. I wanna wish you 
great results today. Lots of positiveness in the market this morning. And if this is the first time you've seen these uh, videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. If you happen to be watching this on Facebook, click that follow me button. Also, please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Um, truly, truly appreciate that. You guys are, uh, are the reason for the growth and I truly appreciate that and want to thank you very much for those who take the time to do it. Uh, you mean a ton to me. Um, I, I, I am just uh, very humbled by the growth that we're seeing here recently. So thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be potentially uh, showing some good signs of, of movement um, and potential trades to look at. One of the stocks that I'm really interested in um, right now, take a look at eBay eBay had a really nice move yesterday, holding up in here, holding in its trend, and you can see it looks like it's gonna gap up a little bit this morning. It does have some resistance up here to deal with, but eBay holding up and looking really, really good at the moment. Um, MasterCard, MasterCard tried to pop up yesterday to break this area up here, um, had a little bit of a pullback in that price action, but you can see uh, MasterCard popping up this morning, and it may well attack this um, upper limit up here so you might want to keep an eye on uh, MasterCard um, other stocks like Nike Nike um, whoops Nike looking very good pushing on through yesterday my guess is Nike is going to move on through attacking attacking these highs up here we'll want to watch that closely but Nike's looking really really good SQ is another SQ in a very nice pattern holding up here well we can see SQ gapping up this morning now um, this is a really great pattern for a potential upside move so something to keep an eye on uh, UPS UPS beautiful chart as of yesterday holding up really nicely in here UPS looks like it may have an opportunity this morning to move on higher so kind of keep an eye there's a lot of charts out there that could potentially be very very profitable for you um, so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits and just a word of encouragement if you're struggling as a trader um, I really want to um, to let you know that I understand that struggle. I went for years and years and years uh, where I just struggled as a trader trying to get all these things figured out. But please let me reassure you, if you stick with it, if you keep working at it, if you're um, dedicated uh, to this process, you too can make it. I know you can because um, I'm just an old carpenter. If I can figure this out, I know that anyone can. And so just keep at it keep working keep forcing uh, uh, forcing yourself to uh, and pushing yourself to learn more and be stronger as a trader remember it's very very easy in trading to over complicate your trading um, and I'm going to be talking about that tonight um, in a public e-learning session tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, public e-learning session in the Hit and Run Candles uh, trading room. I'll put a link in the description. And you are certainly welcome to come to that. We're going to talk about the importance. We're Actually, we're going to be talking about the MACD indicator, but we're going to talk about the importance of price action and how following price is really the most important thing that you can, that you can do as a trader. So if you're interested at all, um, look in that uh, description area. You'll find that link. Come on over. We'd love to have you. And... Um, Maybe you can pick up something um, that can help you in your trading. Everyone take care. Hopefully, hope to see you tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. And we'll talk to you all very, very soon. Have a great day.